Tom with County Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage where today we are working on the 2021 Ducati Panigale V2. And uh, this is a modification that we should have done a long time ago. Now, I honestly thought that it was more of a pain in the butt to do this modification basically because of the Street Fighter. Radiator guards on the Street Fighter take hours to do and is a pain in the butt. But today we have a radiator guard by uh, Dicey83, courtesy of uh, Manny over at Moto Million. Thank you for getting these for us, Manny. Uh, it's like a 10 or 15 minute install. Why have we waited for so long? Now, um, it's basically real easy. There's two bolts up at the top that are already in the bike. We're gonna remove them, slip this in, bolt it in. Then we're gonna move to the top. We're gonna remove two bolts, slip in the radiator cover, bolt it back in, and we are ready to go. Now again, this is the, I believe it's called Dicey uh, 83, and uh, it includes the radiator guard for the top and the lower radiator guard, or excuse me, I guess this is the upper. So you're gonna be working with the triangle down on the bottom here, and up above is the big square. So, like I said, fairly looks like a fairly in, easy install. So I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step. Hopefully we can get a good view in there. We are not on the lift today because we want to be able to move the handlebars from side to side so we can get in and wedge this stuff in. So uh, let's get the tripod set up. Uh, get our one tool that we're gonna need for this. I believe that's a three millimeter socket. And let's get this thing installed and uh, get these radiators protected. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna do is obviously cock this wheel to the uh, right. And we are working with a few different bolts. So there's the two lower bolts here, one and two. Those are the ones that are sticking out. Those are gonna be for your lower triangle guard. And then there's gonna be these two up in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these. This is called the spark plug access. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these two bolts. Okay, with the spark plug access cover removed with the two bolts, this is not going to be utilized again because on the radiator guard, you're gonna see there is actually one that we're gonna reutilize the same bolts. Now, this is not a very easy thing to get in, so I'm not gonna be able to really show you guys the detail of getting this in, but you can see I'm kind of feeding it into the one side and we wanna get this side kind of latched in there and latched up in the very top here and then over to the other side. Uh, ultimately lining these two bolts up with the original access cover and then we just simply put in the two bolts to hold it in. All right, so once you've basically got it lined up, you will take your bolts and you're gonna line them back up in here. And as soon as that lines up, go ahead and get those tightened and your top one is all set. All right, now that the upper is done, we're gonna work with the triangle one, okay? So what we're gonna do is you see these little bolts here, the ones that stick out, this one and this one, we're gonna go ahead and remove these bolts. It's the same uh, four millimeter socket. All right, so once you've removed the two screws located here and here, you're gonna keep the little metal uh, washer spacer in there. You're gonna grab your triangle. You're gonna slide it right in the bottom and the little tab, you're gonna tuck right behind the plastic fairing. And then when you tuck that in, you're gonna be able to push this right up against this black little tab. You'll take your screw and go ahead and screw it in. And voila, that's it. The black plastic lowers on, the uppers on. We've got the four bolts in. Let's take a final look and uh, we're ready to roll. All right, well, there we have it. The Dicey 83 radiator guards, kind of hard to see, but uh, very good mod, very cool mod. Now, um, I don't know why we waited. I know why we waited so long. The Street Fighter took two to three hours to put the uh, uh, radiator guards on there, and it's a pain in the butt. You gotta take all the sides off. The Dicey 83 from Manny over at Moto Millions, 20 minutes, tops. You don't have to take anything apart. Four screws, squeeze it in. Uh, and it's and it's done. So get your guys' radiators protected. Uh, Everything is going to be linked down below to uh, Manny's website uh, over at motomillion.com, and uh, he'll be able to get you guys these things. I think he's got a couple different ones, but this one, 
It said in the description, like 15 minute install, no joke, four bolts, slide it in, ready to roll. So thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, make sure you guys head over. The Street Fighter just got new exhaust. The V2 has got some great stuff coming. We have a clear clutch cover coming. We have some new brakes coming. We have brake pad swap coming. So if you guys are looking to do brake pads, on the 2020, 2021. We're gonna be doing that next. Um, chain and sprocket kit's coming for the V2, and then we're gonna be out on track. So stay tuned, but thank you guys for sticking around, doing the normal. As always, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and then ring the bell notification. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around, and we'll see you next video. Bye, guys.